Pump brakes. <laughs> what the hell? That's why it's real important to tell us exactly what happened that night because I would hate for her to point the finger at you if you're not the one that did anything. By now, you know the events that led to Eddie Brown's murder. Eddie was a drug dealer who helped a 21-year-old call girl, Miss Lopano, get off the streets. She claimed that he saved her, but then the same call girl betrayed Eddie, and he was murdered by her accomplice, Blair Terry. For all the details, catch up with our case intro video. See the link in the description below. This is the first interrogation of Blair Terry. He's the one who shot Eddie Brown in the head, less than a mile away from where Blair and his co-conspirator Shayla picked Eddie up. Eddie died a few hours later. This interrogation took place on November 15, 2016, about eight days after the shooting. Blair agrees to talk to the detectives but he is obviously trying to sell one or more versions of the events that took place on November 7, whereby he would be completely innocent. Here we see Blair's description of the phone call at Aries' house, the night's in, the broken window, correcting Shayla's lies and creating some of his own. Let's listen in. Did you bring your key? I did. It's cold in here too. Archie. What Archie's that? No, it's like Ray Nanny. <laughs> oh, Archie's a Ray Nanny? Yeah, I do know Ronnie Archie. He works in Oh my god. What's wrong with his key? Seriously? This key is got Oh, you're asleep? Yeah. 
<laughs> what time do y'all go to bed? Uh, lot does around 8 o'clock, 8 30. Is that like when you can't make phone calls and stuff anymore? Yeah. yeah. What floor are you on? Oh, who are you trying to call? Mama? No, yeah, I'm a girl. Your girl? Yeah, I'm calling Mom. Yeah. Does she even know you're here? Yeah. Oh, she does? How'd she find out? My girl. Uh, well, who's your girl? Uh, Rachel. Oh. Alright, because I'm, I'm asking you questions and you're in custody, I have to read your constitutional rights. And the constitutional rights are read because um, you're not free to leave because you're in custody. You right. know what I'm saying? So, um, it doesn't mean you're guilty of anything, it just means I have to read this to you and you acknowledge and understand what your rights are. Okay. So, um, before I do that, I just want to make sure it's Blair, B-L-A-I-R. Yes, ma'am. Okay, Terry. C-E-R-Y. And what's your address, your home address? Uh, what's your date of birth? November 6th. 1990. And you're old? 26. 26. How tall are you? 5'8. How much do you weigh? 135. You got way more than that, man. If you so, I need to go gag myself because that's how much I weigh. 135. Nuh uh. I'm about to get a scale and bring it in here. 135. There's no, uh uh. I'm going to starve myself for the rest of my life. <laughs> Seriously. Mm, can you read and write? Yes. Okay. How how high did you graduate high school? No. How high did you go? Uh, eleven. Eleven. And any drugs or alcohol? Any what? Do you take drugs or drink alcohol? Drink alcohol. But not right now. Like you're not on drugs right now. No. And you're not on alcohol. <laughs> no. Okay. Okay. I didn't think so, but you never know. People actually get a hold of drugs okay, and alcohol. So, yeah. I'm sure you know. You probably know more than I know. I'm sure. What's today? The 14th? 15th. Today is November 15th. Next week is Thanksgiving? Yes, it is. But, yo. A week to be thankful. Yeah, thank you. Being in jail. Right. Uh, yeah. What, what time is it? Um, it is 7.30 on the dot. Okay. Read that first line for me. I just got to make sure you can read. <clears throat> you have the following rights under the United States Constitution. Okay. I'll read the rest, and then you just tell me you understand them. You don't have to make a statement or say anything. You understand that? Mm-hmm. Okay. Anything you say can be used against you in court. Okay. You have the right to talk to a lawyer for advice before you make a statement or before any questions are asked of you, and to have the lawyer with you during any questioning. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed for you before any questioning, if you wish. If you do answer questions now, you have the right to stop answering questions at any time and consult with the lawyer. You understand? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm just sign there that you understand. Long ass thing. Shayla, who's Shayla to you? Uh, just a friend that uh, I met out. at the house over there. Just visiting, shouldn't have been at. Did she, did she date um, Dasha? I don't think so. No? I don't think so. Does she live at a house? Uh, I'm not sure. Not not too sure. Like, yeah. To be honest with you, I really wouldn't know. Yeah. How long have you known her? I've known her from just like... The spurts you see in the hair, the end of the air, and all that. Like, like, like for a year or? Oh, a couple of months, actually. Oh, just a couple of months. Yeah, it ain't even that long. Okay. Is there another nickname people call her besides Shayla? Mm-mm. She's a back page girl? I don't know. I don't know. Back page. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, you don't know? I really don't know. Oh. I don't know. All I know is about Shayla. Yeah. Okay. Well, she is. Oh. <laughs> um. So, I know you guys were just there that night together, and I don't, you don't live there, though, right? Mm-mm. You just hang out there, or you just have to no, be No, I just happen to just be there, actually. So <laughs> who actually lives in that house? I don't know. I really don't. I really don't know those days that I was just, like, I was just there, like, with somebody. I was supposed to go there and leave, and... Who were you there with that night? I was, I was there, actually, by myself. I was down the street, mm-hmm. or whatever. Yeah. And I was supposed to, uh, because somebody at the was getting a truck fixed. He's yeah. getting the truck fish, yeah. Yeah, and I, I asked him to take me somewhere. He said, well, I'm up the street. Like, I'm up the street, so, you know, we can walk over here. And I, I was like, all right, walk up the street. And there you go. Boom. Yeah. Flashbangs and stuff. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's so, kind of crazy. Yeah. Probably never experienced that before, huh? Yeah. Now we're in charge of paraphernalia for yeah. a house I don't even stay in. Yeah. Don't get it. Well, I, I'm not narcotic, so I don't really know how they do it all, but I guess that's just what they do, whoever's in the house and whatever's there. I have no idea. But, um, okay, so what about, um, okay, speaking of Shayla, so y'all got popped with that like on a Friday, I think. Last Friday. Today's month, Tuesday. Um, Tuesday. Yeah. Tuesday. So y'all got. <coughs> yeah, I think it was Friday. Friday? Saturday or Saturday? Friday or Saturday? Yeah, Saturday. Okay. Um, the Monday before, Shayla drove that little white VW and she asked you to go ride with her. And y'all went to Aries' house. Her friend Aries, that kind of creepy white dude. With a mustache. Right I, didn't, I didn't meet nobody. Right, but you were with her when she went over there? I remember getting dropped off. She dropped, she took me somewhere, but I don't think it was on Monday. It was on Monday. It was like Monday evening. Did she took in the BW, right? The white, the white Pops car? It was a white car, but it wasn't no VW. It was a no, when we say VW, we don't mean the VW Bug. It's a Volkswagen SUV. Yeah. Not oh, a VW oh, oh, Bug. A lot yeah, of yeah, 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 yeah. She took me, she took me, she took me, to the she took me and dropped me off uh, at my uh, people house. Well, she didn't really take me nowhere. I just told her to drop me off. Where she dropped you off at? Off of 103rd. Off 103rd. Mm -hmm. Do you remember what time she dropped you off? I don't know. It was pretty late. It was probably like around, I'm going to say 8. Nine, eight, nine, something like that. Eight or nine? Yeah. Okay. Do I remember you, correctly. Do you remember going to Aries' house with her? The white dude that lives off Ramona? Past that little elementary school? No, I really don't. Well, I know you were with her because you went inside, and that's fine. I mean, I just know that you were with her. When yeah, she made I, I just didn't know. I didn't know because you said a little white dude. And I don't He's know. older. Well, a little white guy. Um, I'm a Mexican. Well, he kind of could look like that. Yeah, good look. He's like Miss Two. Yeah. I don't remember no Miss Two, but yeah, <laughs> I guess. Yeah. He lives across street from like Ramona Elementary or something. It's a school. Like right? behind the Diamond Inn, like back there. He lives in a house. By the church? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, you remember going in there? Yeah. Okay. And, um, and Shayla made a phone call to somebody. Yeah, she was telling somebody when I was talking to him. Yeah. Dude, what was she talking about? I don't know. No. I wouldn't focus on her conversation. She right. was walking off and stuff like that. I don't know. But why Why did she want to go over there? Just use the phone or? No, she was taking me somewhere. She was dropping me off. She was like, I'm just going to stop here real quick or whatever because I didn't have a phone on me. Okay. So I was like, all right. And she didn't have a phone on her? Mm-mm. You know what I know. Okay. And she used that guy's phone? Yeah, she just stopped by. She's like, oh, it's my friend's house. This is that. This is this. this. And I sat down and just watched the TV with him and talking football and stuff like that. Yeah. He probably wouldn't wear a shirt, would he? I don't know. I don't know. Pay attention. I don't really remember. <laughs> I just want to make sure. I just want to know what you remember of. Do you remember anything about him? No, really. Like he was just kind of Mexicanish. Yeah, that's all I remember. Like, I kind of, I thought he was like a Mexican dude, or whatever. Okay, and you don't remember anything Shayla was talking about to the dude? No, I don't. I don't even know who she was talking to. Okay. I, just, I know. I know she had to use a phone, and she, after that, you dropped me off, and that was done. You didn't go anywhere else with her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I dropped off. Well, um, let me just let me just ask you because I just I'm just a little confused. Okay, so there's the car that she drove you in. That's the car she drove. Yeah. Okay. And y'all went to y'all went to the Knights Inn to pick up her friend. The Knights Inn. Yeah, because there's you and there's her. I mean, it's definitely you. I mean, you know. Yeah, that's me. Right. I'm just trying to remember all this shit. That's all right. Oh, do you smoke anything? Yeah, I probably was a little messed up or something. What I don't do you smoke? know. I mean, I smoked some weed and I, was doing, I think I did some tabs or something like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because there's, um, I don't know who he was, he was, who he was picking up, though, because I had a guy out of the car and I, I walked off because I was too, taking too long and I was like, I tried to. Trying yeah. to look for her and I couldn't find her. Yeah. I saw that on the video that you got out after like, 
I don't know, like five, ten minutes. Yeah, and I'm like, I couldn't find her. I'm like, she was taking forever. And I'm like, well, okay, what's going on? So I got out of the gun and all that. Okay. When you got um, when you got back in the car, there was another guy sitting in the front seat. Yeah, that kind of freaked me out. I didn't know where the heck it was. Yeah, who'd she say it was? I don't know. She was like, this is her ex. She didn't say no name. She said it's ex. Her ex? Yeah. I was like, oh, okay, what's up? Yeah. And she took me to where I was going at. Yeah. What? Um, what did you got to do? What is, what is all this? Why is all this like it? Well, it? and then, did he, did he loan you his phone to use? No. Did you use his phone? Did you call? Yeah, I did. I did yeah. actually use his phone, and I called. I tried to call my. Uh, I tried to call my uh, my uh, ex. I was trying to call her. Trying to call Callie. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Why were you trying to call her? I was just calling because I was trying to get. Like I said, I was trying to get down to third, but she took me to hundred and third. I was trying to see if I can get a ride from her or whatever. She said, like, I was just gonna walk the rest of the way because okay. she said she wasn't gonna take me all the way up to the West and Old Middleburg and stuff. Oh, that's what she said? Yeah. Okay. Um, so when y'all left out of Knight's Inn onto Lane Avenue, y'all made a right. And went towards 295. Towards 103rd. Like, if you make a right, you go towards 295. Okay, you go to Knight's Inn. I mean, I-10, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, no. When you go out of Knight's Inn, you make a left, you go up to Lane Avenue. Yeah. Up to Lane Avenue. And then you go right, and you go past the Stars Inn and the Speedway, and you go towards I-10, underneath I-10 to Ramona, like past Ramona. Yeah, draw a picture. Yeah. This is not the scale. Oh, yeah. Which is that <laughs> this is the, okay, so this is Night's Inn. That's the Star's Inn. Oh, and then yeah. you come out yeah. and you go this way. Mm-hmm. And then you go that way. All right? On lane. And you go underneath I-10. Uh, let me go this, go. this is the interstate right here. Which way did y'all go? We got up on the interstate. Y'all got up on the interstate? Yeah. That's at least that's what I remember jumping up on the interstate. Well, I have, I mean, I'm just asking, so I just want to make sure everyone's, you know, the story matches the, my video cameras I have that you guys are going down. You went down lane underneath I 10. I mean, I got all this video footage. Like I said, I remember passing that and stuff. Like I said, I was pretty, I was kind of like, yeah. I was uh, a little bit that night too, so. What does all this got to do with anything, though? I'm trying to... What is this? Well, I'm going to tell you that he, she dropped you off. So when you left here, she dropped you off where on 103rd? She got up on the interstate on I-10? Yeah, but it was going like... Th- towards going, town? Like going towards Orange Park, yeah. Do- like going towards Marietta Way and all that. Going oh, that going way. past towards Marietta. So then she she get on 295? I think that's what it is, yeah. And took you where on 103rd? She just dropped me off. Her soldier dropped me off at the uh, Exxon. The Exxon? Mm-hmm. Which one? The one by... Uh, the one on a fast stone. Fast stone. Oh, good. Because they have excellent video yeah. at, we were, we were at Exxon. It was yeah. at Exxon? But perfect. We can get down there this, this evening. Man. Yeah, they have really good video, and they keep it for uh, two months, so that's perfect. Yeah. Um, so what were you wearing? Oh, you were in this that night. So yeah, you had the khaki it. pants, the shorts, mm-hmm. and the purple and black shoes. Yeah. Where are those shoes at now? I actually don't know. What happened to them? I actually don't know. I don't know who. I don't know if somebody held them. I don't even think those was my shoes, actually. Oh, yeah. Why would you have somebody else's shoes? Right, I'm a people borrow shoes. Really? Yeah, I mean, I don't yeah, borrow yeah, shoes. My, some of my shoes stink. Friends and stuff. Yeah. You know, we got friends yeah. that borrow shoes and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Like that. You want to borrow shoes? Hey, you don't want to. You get what I'm saying when I'm borrowing shoes. Sure, sure, sure. Whose shoes were they? I don't know. Like I said, I took out I was holding somebody's shoes. I was just like, let me hold them. I wear them real quick. Yeah. Well, let me ask you this. Um, she was driving the whole time. You were never driving. Because you don't have a license. You don't have a license, do you? Mm-mm. Yeah. Neither does she. But she didn't didn't stop her from driving. But so she was driving the whole time. Right. Right. So um, the friend never got in the passenger seat to drive. She was driving, and she never picked up anybody else before dropping you off. Correct. Besides picking, know, him, um, no. besides picking that guy uh, up in the Besides motel. picking him up? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's all I know. Okay. Like I said, I didn't even know he was in the car until I got back in the car. 
Right, right, right. Right. Um, so, her saying she picked up Pop would not be true. I wouldn't know. Like I said, I don't know if she picked but up. But if she says, right when we left the motel, I picked up Pop and Pop dropped me off. And you and Pop left with this guy. That's incorrect. That kind of would be incorrect. Like, what? Well, I don't even know Pop being around. But. No, I don't think Pop was around. But her saying that, oh, when I left the motel, um, I went and picked up Pop from Highway, and he took me home, and it was just Pop, BT, and Brick in the car. That's a lie. That's a damn good lie. Okay. So that didn't happen. So when y'all left there, it was you, the guy in the front passenger, and her driving, and she got up on the interstate, went 295 to 103rd, and dropped yeah. you off on yeah, Exxon. I know. Okay. Yeah. When did we you... We went exactly like Exxon. I went like at the Exxon. I was just like right by the Exxon, like where school at. Uh-huh. I told her to drive me off like back like uh, back down the street, because I was going to get ready to just go to my mom's house. Just walk, because my mom's stay on Falcon. Right. So I was just going to yeah. get ready to go to my mom's house. But other than that... I, I don't remember nobody else except her and that dude in that car. Okay. Were, when's the next time you saw her after that, after she dropped you off? The accident the next day. Where the next day when I came back over there, when I came back over to the house that y'all y'all saw us at. Where was the car at then? It wasn't there. When's the next time you saw that car? Uh, two, a day or two later. It's on that, it's on that, it's on that. Well, what did she say happened to the window? Because it was broken. I never knew the window was broke. It was, the window was fine when I was in it. Was it? Yeah. She never told you what happened to the window? I never knew the window was broke. And what I'm saying, it was fine when I was in there. So, I, I don't know. Okay. What is going on? Like, what? what? That was, I'm, I'm lost. Like, what is going on? She never told you anything that happened in that car? No. I thought I was getting her. I was, she was just taking me somewhere, supposedly. Yeah. Did, did, did this guy do anything to threaten you or her while he was in the car? Did he, did he have a firearm or anything? Mm -mm. Nothing that you saw? Well, not nothing, nothing that I saw. Right. He, he never threatened you or threatened to hurt her or anything like that? Mm -mm. No? So he was cool about whatever? Everything was funny. Um, I don't even know the dude. Okay. So is that the first time you ever seen him? That was the first time. Yeah, was the first time I ever seen him. Did you know his nickname was Brick? Mm -mm, I don't know him. <laughs> okay. Does Dasha know him? I don't know. But Dasha wasn't with y'all that night. No, he wasn't with us. Okay. Um. So you never saw once you left the house that night. You never saw Dasha till the next day. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. So you don't know anything about the window. What? She never mentioned anything to you about anything happening in that car? No, ma'am. Anybody got hurt in the car? Mm. It, the car looked fine to me. That was when, I was you, like, when you rode yeah. over there with her in the car, Where? what seat did you ride in? What seat did I ride in? Mm -hmm. When you rode to the hotel, where were you in the car? Where was I in the car? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You guys drive together in the car. It's just you two. She's driving, which puts you in another seat. Which seat was that? I was in the passenger seat. Front, back. I was in the passenger. I started in the passenger until she, well, until she was like, she going to pick a friend up, and now she was like, "Are right, you just get in the back, in the back, waiting, all waiting, 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 waiting." Wait, waiting. okay. So when you pull up to that uh, hotel, yeah. are you in the front? No, I pulled up seat? and I was in the front seat. I was, I was in the front seat. You were in the front seat. Yeah, until so she was okay. I was like, "Why are we here?" She was like, "Oh, we uh picking up my uh, friend or whatever." I'm like, mm -hmm. "Okay." I like, do I gotta get in the bag? You know, it's she was like, yeah, this is my ex or whatever. I'm like, okay. So you got out and you just walked around looking for her. Yeah, because she, I didn't know where she was. She, she, she had come right away and as I'm walking, I, I didn't walking. see her. Then when she, when you <clears throat> reapproach her in the car, um, she's parked in the, was she parked in the same place or a different place? No, a different place. That's why I thought she left me. <laughs> I was like, okay. I'm yeah. Yeah. She parked in a different place. Yeah, and then I'm you like, came out and then you got, where, at that point when you came out, did you get, where, where was he and where did you sit? He was in the passenger seat. Cause I guess he didn't even know I was in the car. Gotcha. And then, so you sat in the back? Yeah, I sat in the back. Back where? Behind her or behind him? Behind him. You sat behind him? Yeah. When you got in? Um, 
and they drove off, and y'all all three together, and then they dropped you off, and those two were still yeah, in the car they together. Was on, they, was on, they was on the same the last two I seen. And okay. where, um, what was that conversation like between them, or between all three hey, of you? Man, I mean, we started, she talked, she was like, so, well, so what's going on? Like, what, what you going to need my house? No, you know, it was just a simple conversation. And she, he was like, man, you need to drive, and this is that, because she was kind of swerving a little bit. Man. But that was, it wasn't that serious, though. From what I see, on the, with those two, did they get in a fight or an argument or anything? No, not really. Okay, not from what I see. How seen. many times do you think you've been over to that house? Which house? The Nelson. house off Nelson. Uh, a couple of different times. Like two, four, sixteen. Uh, what does that matter? Well, it matters because I'm asking you a question. I just was asking what how many times you think you've been over there. Off and on, because I got I say, I family stuff still over there. Okay, all right. So a few times. Yeah, a couple gotcha. times. Um, I'm just confused because I am too <laughs> and I'm going to explain that to you I'm confused because you know we've been working with this stuff all week of an incident that occurred and um, I've talked to Shayla and when you guys left out of there you did make a ride on lane but you didn't get up on the interstate you went straight because I have video y'all go down Ramona Y'all somehow end up on Ramona. Y'all come out on Ramona. How? <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, unless she, she, unless she came back dropping him off or something like that. I, okay. I don't know. I don't know. But I mean, it was from, pretty from quick. There, that's all I remember. You know what I mean? It was really quick. Like when you guys made a ride on Lane, um, y'all went down Lane and went underneath the I-10 overpass, and then um, probably within ten minutes, y'all come down Ramona and you leave from Ramona. So I don't I don't I don't know like why y'all went did y'all why did y'all go Ramona? Is there something she had to pick up over there? I don't know. Maybe I do not know. I can't tell you. I don't know. All I know is I was trying to get to hundred and thirty. Right, but you never made it there at that point. Y'all did you, you must have went there afterwards. To me afterwards. After y'all went to Ramona. But I I just remember us leaving the hotel. Right. And like I said, I remember her jumping on the highway. Right. And I got dropped off on 103rd. But there's no Which, way she would have made it back on Ramona in that time that we I had the know, video. I don't know what time that you're trying to look at. So Yeah. It was probably, it was within like, it was within, from the time she left the hotel, from the time I see her driving down Ramona, it was within 10 minutes. <laughs> okay. Shayla has a story of what happened that night. I, I need don't to know what's going on. That's what I'm, I'm answering questions I don't know about. I don't know what's okay, going well, on. Okay, well, someone was shot and killed in that. Someone was shot and killed. Yeah. Someone was shot and killed in that car. That's why I'm here. Mm -hmm. She's pointing the finger at you. That's why everyone has their sad story. I don't know. Maybe she pulled the trigger. Did she pull the trigger? I don't know. Hold up, wait a minute, hold up. Pump bricks. <laughs> what the hell? That's why it's real important to tell us exactly what happened that night because I would hate for her to point the finger at you if you're not the one that did anything. Or did the guy try to do anything to you? You know, you had to react. I don't know. I don't I know don't the story. Know this guy. Right. Right, 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 right. I know you don't know the guy, but I don't. I don't know what happened in the car for a situation to occur. Nothing. Something happened. What is between her and the deceased? I don't know. Right. I really, I don't know this guy. I hardly, like I said, I, I don't I hardly know Shayla. Like right. That. She was right. getting a ride. Right. That was it. But you didn't go to one hundred and third at that point. Y'all went to Ramona. And I have, and I can prove that. So I want to yeah, know what happened on Ramona. I remember going to um, Ramona and stuff like that, but that was before. That was way before. Well, I know y'all went to Ramona the opposite way to Aries' house, but I'm talking about the opposite way on Ramona. See, uh, that's what, I don't know. <laughs> that's the part I don't know. Right. Because I remember going out and leaving each other on the interstate. That's right. all I, That's what I remember, and getting dropped off. Well, y'all didn't make, quite make it to the interstate at that point. Y'all went down. <laughs> And y'all circled around and went down and came down Ramona when you left out of there. I don't know. So, don't what know, happened in that car? 
Blair. Nothing happened in that car. I do not know. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm totally honest. I do not know what's going on right now. I'm lost as heck. I'm really lost. Like I said, I know the car. Yeah, I know Something her. freaked you out enough to call Callie to come get you because she doesn't really talk to you much anymore. Yeah, she don't. So you call her because you needed a ride. You just because... talk on this, like, little spurts here. Right, I, yeah, I know. But something happened that you didn't want to be a part of and you wanted a ride out. And that's why you called her because you knew that you could depend on her if shit hit the fan. That's why no, you called her. I was just trying to get a ride. Well, then you would have called Rachel. Rachel got a car. Well, you would have called somebody, but you called her. Because she had a car. Right? I'm sure. Okay, I'm done asking these questions, man, because I'm not going to catch myself up to something I don't even know about. I want I want, I want to talk to a lawyer or something like that, because I don't know what's going on right now. Okay. This is this this is brand new to me. They, well, I ain't this in a police report or something like that. My, my, if, if, if. <sighs> oh, my God. I go to the fucking house and end up coming back with a freaking cat. Well, I think a lawyer is probably your best thing you can do. Yeah. So, anything else you would like to say, you can knock on the door. I'm done talking. That's cool. Can I go back to my cell? Yeah, let's so put our stuff down. At the end of this interrogation, Blair was not arrested. Detectives went back to work and had Blair brought in for a second interrogation a few months later, on January 15, 2017. A video about that interrogation is coming soon. Thanks for watching Mentor Lawyer and Ladybug. Thank you.